Good morning everyone, Sherry again. Um, just doing another quick video, um, updating where we're at, and looky looky, um, got it all emptied out, got everything behind me emptied out here, um, got, it's pretty much the only thing left is my Cricut and then my sewing stuff over here, so, um, which I can just pull them out, set them aside as I move everything. I am now... <laughs> kind of looking at this room wondering um, I've got a bunch of paint that I did the rest I repainted the whole house so I got enough paint left I might paint the walls I haven't quite decided do I want to wait well I pretty much got it empty it'd probably be easy to do it only take me a couple days to get all the paint on the walls or <laughs> put it off till spring and hope I get back to it because we all know how that goes. Once I get everything back in here and settled, I'm probably not going to want to move everything. So we're still debating. But it looks totally different with <laughs> nothing in here. That's kind of like, wow, look, space. <laughs> so, which I still got to move all this stuff and my little dog sitting on my feet. Archie, what are you doing? Come here, baby. Come here. This is my old man, Archie. So. He's like, I don't wanna. I know. It's all like, but that's the ouchie. He's always on my feet, so unfortunately, that's something else I have to plan for is room for them, because they're usually right where I'm at. But it's a good boy. It's an ouchie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what I'm doing because they've been following me everywhere <laughs> and getting in the way. Of course, typical dogs. But I'm laying on my feet now, so he should be good for a few minutes. But yeah, I'm not too crazy about... It's hard to tell with my poor lighting in here, but it's like a... Not a pale yellow, but more like a sunshine yellow. So I don't know. It could use a coat of paint. I just don't know if I want to mess with it or... Tangle with it come spring. <laughs> kind of like... I'd like to get it all back together and organized. And if I stop to paint right now, being in Michigan, it's probably going to take quite a few days to get it dry because these, this here is an outside wall, so it's always cold. So it's going to take forever to get the paint to dry, even, you know, with the heat on in the house. So I don't know if I want to tangle it, tangle with it, or possibly I may just wait till spring. By then I'll decide what kind of color I want if I want to keep painting it the same because I got the light grays through the whole rest of the house so it's not like it's an ugly color and I think I've got a gallon and a half left because I just bought extra just so I didn't run out last thing you want to do is do touch-ups a year down the road and you don't have it you can't get the paint matched so but yeah it looks totally different <laughs> with like everything is empty I got it all empty um and I got a lot of my sewing patterns in the filing cabinet. I've, I think I've got one drawer that's got the household stuff in it. Everything else, um, these two drawers, I started putting all the quilting, all my quilting patterns and PDF um, foundation paper piece patterns. And of course, don't you know it, <laughs> I got this printed up today too because I bought um, the legit kit with. Um, they ran a Cyber Monday sale that you couldn't beat the price of it. And of course, I never do these patterns at the size they it, they print out at. So this one, because my HP printer wants to cut off the bottom of the patterns pages, <laughs> I printed it at 90%, which then I can go in. I usually cut these out, rearrange them, put them on my scanner, my flatbed here for the printer. And scan them in and then resize them because then I can get however many pattern pieces I can get to fit on these pages because some of these only have like you know some got a bunch of little pit pattern pieces and then some got like two and this one's only got one on it so which there's this is 35 pages <laughs> so lots of foundation paper piecing but I figured at 90%, I got a, I got a little chest freezer that I just inherited. So I'm going to make a cover for it like I did. I downsized the Violet Crafts Elephant, and I got that on my other big chest 
the bigger chest freezer. So, which is fine. I'm not going to do him till um, I do the other patterns. I've got the second mini rose I got to finish. Um, check that over there. I've got second. Yeah, that's a mess too. <laughs> second dot. Don't look there. <laughs> but um, no, I got the second. The second mini rose pattern that's going to be quilt size. And then I've got um, the first mini rose that I've still got to quilt up. I want to try and get that done up and ready for Christmas. So that'll be the first one. And then the second rose um, will be from there. But that's where we're at. Um, just have to decide if I want to paint it now or wait till spring. So I may wait till I just reload, um, get everything laid out. Um, load it back in. Hopefully I can shift enough of it that it won't be an issue. I'd love to paint it now, but it's just going to delay me even more and I want to get this back together before Christmas. Which is in what? Three weeks? Something like that. So, yeah. Fun, fun. But looks better already with all the junk out of here that's <laughs> not sewing stuff. Got to figure out how I want to lay all these racks. So I'm going to Next move, get tape measure out, start measuring everything, measure layout, because I do have, um, I got a heater vent in the floor there with my plug, and then I got a plug right over here in this wall, literally like right here, <laughs> and then the window is right here, so, gotta make everything fit, and then I got the computer desk and the, the desk I can pretty much put anywhere, my little sewing table I can pretty much put anywhere, and then the cabinet, I've got um, all my cross stitching stuff in. That'd be a whole nother thing. Maybe one of these days I'll pull those out and do a short little video of what I've got in there because I haven't touched those in years. <laughs> got rose quilt to fit, finish. I got the second rose quilt to finish. I've got my grandson's little piglet baby quilt I gotta finish up. I did finally just get. Um, his baby clothes because I told him you know if you can round up some of his baby clothes that he don't he you know he doesn't fit into anymore I'm gonna use those and piece those together to make the quilt a little bigger so that he'll have his baby clothes um, as a baby quilt <laughs> which was kind of cool and then um, I started picking up fabric for my pug quilt and then hubby wanted his dragon quilt which that is pretty much I've got everything except for I think I'm gonna need some piecing fabric which I gotta lay everything out and figure out how big it is because with him using um, the big adjustable medical bed it's gotta be certain sizes or you know it's, it's a twin but it's a long twin so I gotta get the measurements right because the last thing I want to do is make it too short because that would be a bummer <laughs> so all right um guess that's good for my update for now I've been you know catching up on the vlog messes when I can um, definitely trying to get this done so I can get back on sewing sewing that rose this little Hummer is gonna go in my filing cabinet because I need to stay away from him till the year I got enough to do now but it is kind of cool so it is a cool company I absolutely love legit and uh, full bobbin designs I've been going through her website because I pattern tested the nutcracker that I did um, as a swap gift come out really cool though so I was kind of bummed I decided I was gonna give it away which is the only reason I signed up and uh, pattern tested it because I wanted to um, one do a, a foundation paper piece and I couldn't find a pattern available and then full bobbin had um, put a testing call out and I was like oh that's perfect for her so absolutely love the little nutcracker he's very fun to make wasn't very hard, but yeah, when I downsized him, it made all, uh, there's certain pieces to put him together that require a lot of little pieces, little, little pieces that <laughs> it's, some days I have the patience for and other days it was like, set it down, walk away, come back later because not playing with it, which I didn't record any of that, which I probably should have, but I was more in a time crunch of, you know, the, for the pattern testing, had to get it done, make sure everything was okay with it. Um, and then because it was going to a swap partner, I was kind of like, not like I could have done anything with it anyways. But if I'd have been thinking about it, I could have recorded it for a video for later. Because it is a really cool pattern. So, alright. 
Um, so I guess that's it for now. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, leave any kind of comment you'd like. I'm still new to all this video stuff. I really, <laughs> I, I'm not looking to do this for a living. I'm just doing this for fun and, you know, to kind of let people out there, anybody looking to learn how to do this and, you know, welcome to my mess. You know, we don't all have big fancy, you know, 20 by 30 studios with all the bells and whistles. Limited budget, limited space. This is how we're going to deal with it and make do. I mean, I, I'm trying to get off my dining room table. So anything will be an improvement over the dining room table because we all know how much fun that is, is to drag everything out and put it all back when you're done so that you can actually use your dining room table. So this is what I'm working on to not have to use my dining room table because I'm not willing to take down my train tables <laughs> for a sewing room. So we're going to make this one work. Because I really don't want to tear those train tables up. I really don't. <laughs> so, alright. Talk to you guys all later. And until I catch up with you again, happy sewing.